really amazing what this coating can do. So take a look. This is video from Corning, the makers of Gorilla Glass, showing how it can hold up to a long drop and direct impact. Now you're probably thinking, okay, that, that's great, Nikki, but what in the world, you know, does this have to do? With the auto show. I am so glad you asked that question because the technology that protects your phone is soon going to be able to protect you and your family. If you're ever caught in a hailstorm like the one these storm chasers posted on YouTube, short of getting into a garage, there's really nothing you can do to protect your windshield. But that won't be the case for long. What we're simulating here is what, over there. what would happen if a hail ball comes flying out of the sky and hits the windshield as the car is driving. At the Detroit Auto Show, Ford and Corning gave us a sneak peek at what's coming. Gorilla glass for your car. This ball of ice is placed into a high-pressured rocket and fired at 55 miles per hour. Arm and fire. The glass is untouched, literally not a scratch. Now here's that same test with materials from the average windshield. The big difference, inside the piece that didn't shatter is a combination of Gorilla Glass and soda lime. So we call it a Gorilla Glass hybrid package. So we do a sandwich that has the Gorilla Glass, it has an interlayer, and then it has the soda lime. The soda lime kind of acts as the skin, absorbing the impacts. The Gorilla Glass provides the spine and strength and at a fraction of the thickness and weight of your regular windshield. Ford is the first to test the glass in its brand new GT and found the shatter resistance is only one of the pluses. In the case of the Ford GT here, it reduced the vehicle, vehicle weight by 11 pounds. On a conventional vehicle such as a Fusion or an Explorer, it would reduce the weight by 30 pounds. Less weight in all of the windows and windshield means a much more stable vehicle. It stops faster, it accelerates faster, it's got better fuel economy, everything is good. Ford hopes to have this hybrid material in all of its vehicles someday. The problem is that since it weighs less, the vehicles have to be redesigned to fit the glass. The GT is the first prototype since it was the first new vehicle in Ford's lineup, but it won't be the last. As we go through our cycle plan and new models come up, we're actively investigating can we make this model uh, Gorilla Glass because we believe that that's a better solution for the customer. And Ford crash tested several uh, different vehicles with this new glass. And we're talking about, you know, direct impact at high speeds, rollovers, and more. Yeah, they tell us that they did everything possible to those vehicles. And that Gorilla Glass survived in every incident. And I'm, if that's not attractive to yeah. families and people, you know, very concerned about their safety, then I don't know what is. Yeah, we, we got a new vehicle, bought it three weeks ago. Uh, my wife's trip uh, up north caught some of that uh, snow stuff and then rock salt on the road. It, mm. Hey, we got a nick in the glass already. So let's get rid of that. Let's get that Gorilla Glass it's, it's going. It's just a matter of time. As soon just a as of time. possible. <laughs>